June Slater is tonight's outsider. And a transgender butcher in Scotland who traded under the name of Andrew Miller, but now apparently goes by Amy, uh, Andrew to me, has been charged in connection with the disappearance of an 11-year-old. After going missing for more than 27 hours, the schoolgirl was found at an address three miles from where she had last been seen on Monday night. And in perhaps the greatest blow to Nicola Sturgeon's sick gender recognition reform bill, Scotland's National Police Force, the main body for maintaining law and order, have defied the First Minister's trans madness. Today, Police Scotland confirmed that a 53-year-old man, not a woman, but a man, had been charged. This comes, of course, as Alex Salmond attacked his ex-sidekick for trashing their independence dream with her extreme trans ideology. Think about that. 30 years of gradually building, 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 building till we get independence over 50% and then throw away in some self-indulgent nonsense. And SNP MP Stuart MacDonald has become the latest of Queen Nick's allies to speak against her, criticising Sturgeon's deranged independent strategy of using the next general election as a de facto referendum. So June Slater, Sturgeon very much seems to be running out of friends here. But how significant, June, that we actually have some common sense coming from the Scottish police who say, no, 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 we're not buying in to this absolute madness. We arrested and we charged a man today. And I know we're not going to speak about the specific case because obviously he has now been charged. But it says something, doesn't it, June? It says Sturgeon is losing the argument in Scotland. Well, I think it says that she's typical of a lot of politicians today, which they think they can just do some virtue signalling and keep the voter base. They can't. The people follow Nicola Sturgeon for independence. I've just had um, a WhatsApp message from someone who supports independence, and he thinks she's gone barmy, and he couldn't support her again. And she's tanking support. Um, looking at a separate case, the one of Isla Bryson, what really gets me with all this... This is a separate case, so we're not impeding anything mm. there. Uh, yeah. he decided no, but do you know what, June? Do you know what, June? Do you know what, June? Adam Graham. Can, can we not just get this straight? Adam Graham. No, okay. be, be, because Isla Bryson doesn't exist. Isla Bryson was a creation in the sick mind of a rapist who wanted to go to a women's jail, probably to commit more horrific rapes. Rapes. So, so I'm sorry. I don't. I don't call this bloke Isla Bryson. And that is after uh, hearing from his victims. It's after hearing from his wife. And it has been made completely clear to me that he tried to swindle the system by becoming Isla Bryson. So, to me, and on this show, I believe we need to refer to this man, this rapist, as Adam Graham. Right, I stand corrected, and I totally agree. I was being politically correct. Um, what you <laughs> we don't like that, here, June. <laughs> it's very unlike you, to be honest. <laughs> he transitioned whilst he was awaiting trial. Yeah. Now, as you say, this isn't going to be a one-off instance. This guy hasn't been nicking Mars bars. He's been raping women. And mm -hmm. it's not been a one-off infatuation, 2016, 2019. He likes it. And he's going to a place where someone could be locked in a cell with him, screaming for her life, and until someone comes rattling some keys, she's going to be stuck there. What lunatic thinks that's acceptable? The thing is, I think it does a lot of damage to genuine trans people who have gone through an awful lot of emotional distress and, and physical transformation to get where they're going. They don't want this. I've got messages from them that they don't want. They don't want people like this. These aren't anything to do with trans. These are criminals manipulating the system for their own criminality. Indeed. And as a result of that, though, June, it feels like Sturgeon has now lost moral authority. And we saw... Uh, with a leader like Theresa May, that once that moral authority has gone, it's very difficult, isn't it, to get it back? So is she finished now, June? If she believed in independence, she'd go. But she believes in Nicola Sturgeon and she'll cling on for grim death. She's like one of those goats you see on a mountainside. You're just waiting for her to slip. 
and there's always a, a rock fall. It's happening now and she can't see it. If there was any decency about it, being genuine about independence, I support being together. Obviously, I'm a Brexiteer. Um, she'd go. She's damaging what she's supposed to be working for. But it's a good earner, isn't it, being a politician at the top of the tree? And there's too many like it. Well, I think what Nicola Sturgeon is doing, June, I, I'm, I'm pretty clear about this, she wants to follow the Jacinda Ardern model. So she wants to portray herself as the woke queen of the world. I don't think she gives a damn about Scottish separatism, really. She knows it's not going to happen. But what she wants to do is she wants to use this trans madness to leapfrog from her job as First Minister to some globalist organisation, you know, to get a gig at the EU or the, the World Economic Forum or somewhere like that. The World Health Organization. Yeah. I think you're right. I think she's a career politician. She's interested in Nicola Sturgeon, and for my liking, she spends far too much time in the hairdressers and standing at podiums to do any actual work. She wants to sort fly tipping out in her own constituency. It's the worst in the country. Have you seen the state of her constituency? She's not getting down to brass tacks and looking after her people. She's more concerned about a public persona on the world stage, and there's a lot of them at it. Very good point. Very good point. From our self-proclaimed Chief Gammon, June Slater. Thank you so much, June. We'll speak very soon.